Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. December 18th, Chris Maxwell. Chris is a longtime pastor, five years with youth and 19 as a lead pastor. For the last 14 years, he has been campus pastor and director of spiritual life at Emmanuel College. He speaks in churches, conventions, and schools, and has written nine books. On this date in 2014, Chris appeared on Faith Talk Atlanta and told his story. It's a story that reveals why his accomplishments are so amazing. Listen to this. The setbacks that you have in your life may be the message that you live. Be bold. 20 years ago, Chris Maxwell was at the top of his game, happy and healthy, physically and mentally. He enjoyed coaching youth league basketball and pastoring in sunny Orlando, Florida. A scholar, Chris had complete books of the Bible memorized, and he remembered the name of every person that he met. But in March of 1996, Chris got sick. He had high temperatures, headaches, and stomach pain so bad that he passed out. When his speech stopped making sense, his family rushed him to the hospital. Something was wrong. Chris said, the doctors didn't think I would live. The diagnosis was shocking, herpes simplex encephalitis. The neurologist said an MRI of Chris's brain looked like Swiss cheese. It was severely scarred and his left temporal lobe was permanently damaged. Epileptic seizures followed, and though they were eventually controlled with medication, Chris suffered a lot. After his discharge from the hospital, he had to have extensive rehabilitation, including three daily visits from a nurse and speech therapy that made him feel like a child. For six months, he wasn't allowed to drive. The most difficult things to cope with, however, were the invisible effects of Chris's illness. His personality, knowledge, memory, and his emotions had all changed. His wife, Debbie, said it was like getting to know a second husband. But Chris refused to give up. He survived and has become an advocate for people who deal with epilepsy and encephalitis. He has also published several books, only now he is more of a poet than a scholar. Chris recognizes that his difficulties and struggles actually allow him to teach and write in a way he never could have before. He relates well to the Old Testament story of Jacob in Genesis chapter 32, verses 24 through 36. It says, So Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him till daybreak. When the man saw that he could not overpower him, he touched the socket of Jacob's hip so that his hip was wrenched as he wrestled with the man. Then the man said, Let me go, for it is daybreak. But Jacob replied, I will not go unless you bless me. Chris is determined to grab a hold of the blessings that come with his mental setbacks. Today, Chris sees values in each moment, in each person, in each conversation, in each breath. In his advocacy work, Chris explains that the Greek root of the word epilepsy is seized, but he adds, instead of being the object of seizure and being held back, I choose to be the subject, to seize the day, to seize the moment, to seize this moment. Chris has learned to slow down, to pause. It's a theme that he often writes about. He said, instead of doing more to impress God, How can we find him in the now? Driving down the road, eating in a restaurant, having a conversation. Where is God in the picture? God is here. Is there something in your life that's setting you back? The setbacks that you have in your life may be the message that you live. Be bold.
Thank you for listening to today's story. Every day of the year, our hope is to inspire you with real life stories of faithful men who have gone before us. Hebrews 12.1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Join us tomorrow for another story at 365christianmen.com.